Okay, to make these pendants, I started out with two different colors of paper, and I have two sizes of rulers. One is wider than the other. So I wound the blue around the widest ruler, and I wound the pink around the smallest ruler. And I just wrapped it around the ruler like this. And then with white glue, I glued the edge down. Then I marked it off at one quarter inch intervals and cut them out with scissors. And then I glued them together in groups of two, and I kept that little overlapped section to the inside and at the bottom where I was going to glue them. And I just used a very tiny drop of hot glue, and I glued them in groups of two. And then I took the groups of two and glued them together in groups of four, like that. And then I just glued the groups of four together, so just that little tiny drop of glue join them together like that. I've got them all glued together. And I put 12 petals in the pink one and 16 petals in the blue one. It all depends on how large you want to open up the petals, how many you need. Like that. It's got a little plastic lid here and I've watered down some white glue until it's really runny. And I'm going to pour it into this lid. And I'm just going to dip my flower one way and then the other. Make sure I have glue everywhere. Arrange them the way you'd like them. Just going to blot up a bit of the extra with a paper towel and move it to a clean area to dry. Now you're going to let them dry and harden. Okay, so I have these finished now and they're very hard. They're, they're flexible, but they're not going to fall apart because they're very rigid and hard from the glue drying. Now I could decorate these any way I like. On this one, I took my scissors and opened up the center and I have a shank style button and I can push that in and then glue it in place. And on this one, I just took a regular button and I took my scissors and I cut the shank off like that. And I can glue that in the center like that. This is another shank button that I cut the back off of. So now I can have two individual pendants like this, or I can take the pink one and glue it over the top of the blue one. So here's the blue one and all I did was pass a large jump ring through one of the petals and attached it to a cord. Click on the next link to find out how to make your own jump rings. And here it is with the pink and a blue button in the center. And finally the deluxe model with the pink one layered over the blue one. And that's how you can make a lovely pendant using just some colored paper, a little bit of glue, and a button.